I've got some more updates for you guys. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I really don't know why anyone would be clicking on this video if you are new, but if you are new, welcome anyways. I will be sharing some updates regarding my pregnancy and our home and anything else that I think of that I think is important enough to share in this video. So let's just get into it. So today I am 29 weeks pregnant and little baby Jack, if you guys watched our gender reveal and our name reveal, you know we're having a little boy. Jack is measuring average, normal, and right before my last appointment, which was yesterday, <laughs> um, I had an ultrasound to see if my placenta had moved. So I had shared before that I had placenta previa or partial placenta previa. Placenta previa is where your placenta is kind of covering your cervix and therefore it's pretty much implied that you're gonna have a C-section because you usually push out the baby first and the placenta would normally be then in the way. So mine was partially covering my cervix and we wanted to see if it had moved out of the way. So imagine your cervix is like the air hole where you're gonna be blowing up a balloon and there was like a piece of confetti on the inside of the balloon stuck to the balloon, kind of covering that air hole. Well, as you inflate the balloon, that confetti hopefully will move away as the uterus grows, as the balloon grows. So that was kind of the hope for my placenta, that in these last few weeks, the placenta, as my uterus has been growing, that the placenta kind of moved away from the cervix. And thankfully, that is the case. So the option of a VBAC is possible, and that is my continued prayer. I was kind of hoping that like, it would be very clear if I'm gonna have a C-section or not, and obviously it would be very clear if I'm having a C-section if my placenta stayed kind of covering my cervix. And, you know, we just had to discuss, let's when, you know, let's schedule this thing. But that's not the case. So I'm really hoping that, I'm really hoping that I can have a VBAC and that I can push Jack out successfully. I have made an appointment with my cardiologist. It's coming up in November to see if my heart is being affected in any way by this pregnancy like it did with Aubrey. And I think that will be my biggest concern during the delivery. When I was trying to push Aubrey out, I felt every time I relaxed, like they had you push for 10 seconds and hold your breath. Every time I relaxed, my heart was like fluttering. And I didn't know if that was normal or not. And it turns out it's not normal. <laughs> so if I experience that again, like I don't know if I can go like three hours of pushing because of how uncomfortable that was dealing with that and, you know, giving birth, trying to give birth for the first time. So, you know, that's going to be my main concern kind of going into this hopeful VBAC, you know, opportunity, but we'll see what happens. That's still hopefully far enough in the future that I don't need to worry about it right now. We also got some cute little pictures of baby Jack at this ultrasound. A lot of them were like looking up his, like looking up his chin, uh, like horrible selfie, you know, angles, but um, you got to see his cute little nose and nostrils. I don't think I've really seen an ultrasound at that angle before, but those are his cute little ultrasound photos. We're gonna see if he turns out looking like Aubrey or something else, who knows. Um, Everyone says Aubrey looks like a fairly good combination of me and Juan, but when she was born, everyone was saying she looked like Juan. So we'll see if that's gonna be the same for Jack. At the ultrasound, they didn't tell me like what percentile he's measuring at. At the anatomy scan ultrasound, like weeks ago, he was like in the 60 percentile. So I'm hoping that he's staying in that range or you know, at 50%, maybe he'll be easier to push out, but you know, we'll see. I don't really remember what Aubrey was. She might have been 80 or 90 in there, but I can't, I honestly can't remember. I also should mention, uh, besides from my horrible foot tan, <laughs> I got my Tdap shot yesterday and like ever since I feel like my left ankle has been looking extra swollen. Like my right ankle, not so much. Again, my tan is hilarious and I'm not, I'm not ashamed you guys, but um, yeah, I really think like this ankle looks extra swollen and I'm just nervous that it's like 
maybe my reaction to the Tdap shot is like to get the enlarged heart. I don't know. I'm hoping that it just goes down. My left arm is super sore still, so I don't know. I don't know if that swollen ankle is a reaction to the vaccine. Either way, I will use it as an excuse to put my feet up and, you know, take my responsibilities a little bit easier. As far as our house goes, the last time that we checked on it, the foundation was being poured or had already been poured and they had the like wooden planks for the framing of the house kind of set aside uh, on the property. So I'm like super excited that there's progress. It's not like they just haven't started yet building at all, but I'm sure that, you know, before this video airs, we will go and check it out again or Juan will go and check out the house again. So I'll put his footage here so you can see kind of the progress from the last time that I went and, you know, the most recent time that he's gone and checked out our new home. I am getting more and more excited to move in and just kind of organize our kitchen. And I'd like to kind of know what types of videos you guys would like to see regarding our move in. I love organizing. I know that I've had a, a lot of successful videos on this channel of me organizing. So I'll definitely give my tips and tricks on how I plan on having a successful move in with a one month old. Who knows if that will actually turn out to be successful, but I have, will, I will have plans, you know, for sure. And if there's any other videos that you guys want to see, you know, like our little pantry video or how we're going to decorate our rooms. Eventually I do want to do little upgrades here and there of just like adding splashes of color or little DIYs around the house to make it feel even more like modern farmhouse is my my goal. So we'll see how that turns out, but let me know down in the comments kind of the videos that you guys enjoy watching um, regarding like home organization or moving in or if you don't really care and you just like to watch whatever I'm posting, let me know too because honestly that brings me to my next little update is I've been feeling super depressed lately and unmotivated. If you are following my crafting channel, you saw I just put out a craft and that is the first craft that I have done in a very long time. And crafting is what I enjoy doing. I, It's a good little like release for me of creativity and just it calms me and yet I haven't really found the time the energy or the motivation to do the crafting I've had plans for things and it's just like Ugh, I don't want to do that today or I'm just too tired or whatever and that makes me sad it makes me like I feel sad that I'm depressed <laughs> and that makes me more sad <laughs> or more depressed and I, you know, I'm, when I'm talking to the camera here, I know it probably doesn't seem that way, but I also recognize that watching videos of someone just like crying for seemingly like no reason at all is not really popular to watch. So, uh, or fun to watch. <laughs> so I don't know, I could use some prayers that the depression lightens or that I can just handle it a little bit better or that I can just find some more joy in the little things. I obviously have joy when it comes to Aubrey. She's very sweet with me uh, most of the time. And she tells me she loves me like all the time. So I know that God's taking care of me in that way. Um, but it's still hard a lot of the times. So I'd appreciate any prayers regarding that and just that things begin to lighten up for me. I know that postpartum depression will probably hit me and uh, hopefully I'll go back on my antidepressants shortly after Jack gets in a good like feeding schedule. So I think what I remember hearing the last time when I was gonna go back on my medicine with Aubrey was the main concern is that the baby will be too sleepy and therefore like not eat a lot and you know maybe have like failure to thrive or whatever and I'm like I can deal with a sleepy baby so if he can eat really good throughout the day and I take my medicine towards the evening and he sleeps better at night that'll be a win for all of us I know that I feel better I'm healthier when you sleep so 
I don't know, hopefully I'll be able to get back on that medicine relatively quickly after giving birth. And I guess my last little update is more of just like a, I'm gonna try to take the time to praise myself. Um, if you guys have been watching my recent videos, I've been doing a lot of like product reviews and getting little like sponsorships here and there. And I'm just really excited that people are valuing my videos and my work. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos and supporting my channel just by commenting or dropping that thumbs up button or, um, you know, just watching the videos or playing them. <laughs> if you're like, eh, you know, this one doesn't look like very interesting to me, but I'm going to play it anyways to support our channel. Whatever the case is, I'd like to thank you guys. Um, these sponsors that we've had are amazing. We love our jumper, we love our butter crock and our etched glass and like the toys that Aubrey's gotten. And you know, I, I have really no complaints about any of the stuff. Um, and it's just, I feel very blessed. And I know that, you know, we as we continue to grow, there might be more sponsorships and stuff like that. And you know, just coming from like where I started with this channel till now, it's been a fairly long journey and uh, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to continue this and um, see kind of like my work pay off. But enough of that little bragging. I just need to like, I need to praise myself every once in a while. Because um, I know like words of affirmation is like my love language. And when I'm depressed, I need like even more of it. So maybe when I'm like editing this, you know, it'll help me as well. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't annoyed. Um, yeah, it's just, it's been a tough couple of weeks for me. So I need to boost myself up, even if it is to all of you. I hope you understand and I hope you forgive me if you found that annoying. But that's going to wrap up today's little update video. As always, let me know what you guys want to see in the coming weeks. I will be trying to film a lot of like TikTok try videos kind of in advance so that if I go into labor early or whenever I give birth to Jack, that I have some time to keep providing you guys with more content, but I also have time to like get the hang of being a mom of two. And if I have any health issues, like I don't wanna be stressed about putting videos out or something like that. So I'm gonna try my best to kind of work ahead of time and um, you know film ahead of schedule so that you guys can you know, keep relying on the Monday, Friday videos, even if things kind of go wrong with me health wise. But that doesn't mean that I can't take your suggestions. So please leave them in the comments and I will look at them and, you know, see how I can fit your guys' ideas and suggestions into my filming schedule. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching this video, hearing me out, listening to me brag about myself, and just kind of checking in on me. It really means a lot and I really, really appreciate you guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you guys are new and just randomly seeing my life updates. I'd love to have you stick around and I'll catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.